Can I show you a real quick magic trick? Do you believe I can print a card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? I have nothing in this hand, nothing in this hand, but I'm going to give you this card. You ready? Ah. That's pretty cool. That was cool. Let me show you another trick. Read out loud the triangles. Arrows in the string, burn in the hand, once in a lifetime. You got them all wrong. It doesn't say any of those things. Do you know what the first one actually says? Paris in the spring? Nope. You want to give it a shot? See if you can read them out loud. Don't think too hard. This is Paris in the, the spring. Oh, that is, that's tricky. He doesn't see it yet. Read real slow. Look, look, there's the and the, the and the, the. What are you talking about? Read one Who word does? at a time. Read one word at a time. Paris in the, the spring. Bird in the, the hand once in a, a lifetime. Show it to him. Paris in the... No. Paris in the... <laughs> that wasn't there before. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the next one. Bird in the, the hand. There you go. Once in a... A, A. That's kind of easy. Your mind so doesn't want to see the double words. It, 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 like it revolts, right? Can I show you another magic trick? Sure. Are you a good person? I guess. No. Yeah. You have a yes, you have a no. Yes. Two yeses and a no. Okay, for the guys who said yes. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. yes. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? A liar. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you ever? No. Not, e not even candy? How about an answer from somebody else's test? No, I've That's stealing intellectual property. What do you call people who steal? Thieves. So what are you? Thieves. No. A lying thief. <laughs> Have your parents ever punished you for anything ever? No. What do you That's mean? A lie. <laughs> what do you call so by your admission, you're a liar or a thief, disobedient, rebellious. You haven't always honored your father and your mother, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the definition of a good person? No. And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Yeah. Should God let guilty people into heaven? No. Do you know what you just said about yourself? That we're lying. Where are you going? Hell. Yeah, I didn't say it, you did. All I did was ask questions that you answered. Right? Yeah. So what did God do so he could forgive guilty people? Him. Who's him? God. God is a trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What did God do so he could have the right to forgive you? Oh, to kill himself? Not exactly. Yeah. Almost. He, sacrificed for he was allowed, he, he allowed himself to be murdered, punished for your sins and mine, right? Do you know why that had to be that way? God had to punish every sin. So instead of punishing you for your sin, God chose to come in as a man, fully God, fully human. And he chose to be punished instead of you, in your place. So God can have justice by taking care of your sin on Jesus. Then he can offer you mercy. He doesn't have to send you to hell. Isn't that good news? Yeah. So do you know who goes to heaven after Jesus died on the cross? Everybody? Who goes to heaven? Us? Well, I don't know. No. Not everybody. Let me tell you who Jesus said goes to heaven. i say it three different ways, okay? Jesus said, He who believes in me has everlasting life. Tell me how to go to heaven. In that's right. Here's another way he said it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, the Son, will not perish, but have everlasting life. How do you go to heaven? He who, okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. In the Son. God the Son. Right? One more. 
believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. How do you go to heaven? In Jesus Christ. Okay? You see the common theme in all three times, right? Faith in Jesus. Repenting of sins because Jesus is God. You can't believe in a God you don't obey. Right? So, did you know how to go to heaven before I walked up? I only thought you had to be good people. Do you know why good people don't go to heaven? It's shocking to hear that, right? Good people don't go to heaven because they don't exist. God says, God says there is no one righteous, no one good, not even one. He said, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, eternal death in hell. Okay? So, nobody can earn their way to salvation by being good enough. You can only receive it through faith in Jesus, repenting of your sins. Okay? Are you ready to follow Jesus now that you understand how to, how to be saved? You ready? You ready? Did you know how to go to heaven? Are you already a Christian? So, well, I mean, I, yeah. You're not sure? I mean, I'm like, my parents are Christian, but they never really like... Did you get baptized? No, I got baptized. Baptizing, baptism does not save. Yeah, like, I just, I never practiced that. Okay, so you, you name the name of Jesus without submitting to his authority, right? That's a problem. That may mean you're not saved. It may mean you have the right information, right? But you haven't had the transformation that's necessary. Jesus said you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. So maybe your issue is you need to take it seriously and submit to Jesus and ask God to save you. Can I, are you all ready to, to truly follow Jesus right here, right now? Can I ask you guys four questions and then pray for you? Is that okay? What are your first names real quick? Andrew. Andrew? Eli. Eli. Wyatt. Wyatt. So question number one. Do you believe you broke God's law, sinned against God? Do you believe Jesus died for you on the cross? Do you believe he rose on the third day? Do you commit to obey and follow and believe Jesus for the rest of eternity? Father, Lord, would you please receive these three young men, save them by the power of the gospel, fill them with the Holy Spirit so they can obey, truly save them in Jesus' name, amen. Look, guys, I have no power to save you. My prayers can't save you. But if while I was praying, you made a true commitment to obey and follow Jesus and believe in Jesus and what he did for you, you are saved. And here's how you'll know in the future whether you are saved today, okay? Only two things. One, you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you and rose on the third day. Two, you continue to grow in holiness. Can you tell me what it means to grow in holiness? It's a little more than that. It means God is changing you to become more and more like Jesus. He's helping you to obey more and more. He's changing your heart so that you want to obey more and more. He's transforming your mind so you understand why God's laws are the way they are. He's changing your heart to love God's law, to love righteousness and hate evil. And if He's doing that and you continue to believe the gospel, you have every reason to believe that you're saved, okay? Um, do you guys live around here? What city do you live in? Do you guys already go to a church somewhere? Uh, I used to. What but church then, did you go to? Uh, I forgot the name. It was, it's a Christian altar the elementary school. Okay. Is it a Christian church? Yeah. Okay. What, uh, you guys go to church anywhere? Okay. So, let me recommend something close to here, okay? You guys know where Hope Chapel is? I think so. It's on Hermos, no, no, Hermosa, PCH and uh, Artesia. Okay? Check that church out. So I'm going to give you a phrase that's easy to remember. Read, pray, and obey every day. Read your Bible every day. Pray to God every day. Obey every day, every day, okay? My name is Tony. My email's in there. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. Do you guys want my well, exchange phone numbers if, if, if you need any help or, or no? I'll just email. Email's good? Okay. God bless you guys. Right, thank you. You too. Yeah.